really the hydrogen was only 5% of the total weight of the methane oxygen propellant being manufactured. So if you just say, okay, we won't be pure, we won't get all of the propellant from Mars, we'll just get 95% of the propellant from Mars. The other 5% of the hydrogen will just bring from Earth. Another fundamental resource that could be extracted from the Martian environment is oxygen. A second processing unit could separate oxygen molecules from the thin carbon dioxide atmosphere, providing breathable air for a Mars crew. If used intelligently, the same resources that make Mars interesting are precisely what could make it attainable. Baker and Zubrin had greatly reduced their mission mass, but they still found their ship was too heavy and would require two launches and assembly in space. Then Zubrin hit on an idea. Well, one of the key events of the Mars Direct Development was one morning Bob burst in my office and said, I've got it. The idea that I finally hit on in 1989 was that we would split the mission up into two parts and we'd send the return vehicle out first with its own return propellant plant. So the propellant would be made on Mars before the first astronauts ever left Earth. 